everybody. Thanks again for joining us here on Geek Tech Industries. We're a few minutes out from the start of the top cut for the hyperspace trials here at Wet Coast GT in Vancouver, British Columbia. We really appreciate all you joining us this weekend. It's been a really fun time. We've had some fantastic matches in the prelims yesterday, and I'm really looking forward to showing off some of the cool stuff, the cool uh, players and cool lists we have here in the top cut. Uh, for those of you wondering, yes, Bun did make the top cut. Hey, Elnar, thanks for joining us on the YouTubes. Okay, uh, I'm just going to get everybody's list brought up. Just bear with me a moment here. We're going to battle our way, or get our, hyper our way into the battlefield. There we go. Not bad. Go. Okay, Battlefield is up. So, we have Sean and Patrick facing off today. Sean Ramberg was uh, the last of our uh, folks to uh, play in the prelims yesterday. Uh, he's running some Rebel Beef, uh, Blue Squadron Scout with Leia and the Pivot Wing, Blue Squadron Pilot with Tractor Beam and Jamming Beam just for maximum disrespect. Uh, two Gray Squadron Bombers, uh, both with Ion Cannon and Veteran Turret Gunner, and the Phoenix Squadron Pilot. Uh, he did pretty well with that yesterday, actually. And then Patrick, on the other side of the board, uh, is running Anakin Skywalker. Nice to see a Republic list. Just Delta 7B on him, that's all he needs. Uh, Mace Windu with uh, R4P17 and the Delta 7B. So these guys uh, are going to hit a little harder, but have a little less defense. And then two Gold Squadron Troopers. And uh, Patrick's list is 195. Whereas, oh, come on, where is it here? Sean's list is an even 200. So I'm just going to find out which of them ended up as player one, and I'll be right back. Hey, Frog Squadron, thanks for joining us, bud. So in this case, it looks like uh, Patrick is player one. So he, ha he has chosen to, uh, in the old parlance, take initiative. These guys are just getting set up. Yeah, yeah, got it. I'll keep everything goes through you, bud. <laughs> All right. So, just to reiterate from yesterday. I am not a judge. I don't want to be a judge. I am just here to watch and commentate and share this wonderful match with you guys. If I see something or if you see something, shout it out in stream. I will call a judge if it is necessary and send Kalen over there to set them straight. Uh, yes, Kalen Wong is our judge and he will proceed to uh, beat that person about the face and buttocks. Hey, Robert, happy Easter, buddy. Thanks for joining us. Do you think Patrick's gonna join in too? Okay, so it looks like these guys are actually pretty set already. We're just waiting for the last of the top cut. So we're down to our top eight today. Uh, so we have uh, Patrick and Sean on this table. These two are, uh, I, I had Sean on yesterday. He, he managed to make the top eight cut. Um, our last streamed match uh, yesterday was uh, what ended up in eighth and ninth place. And so Sean managed to fight his way in there. 
he wasn't sure actually if he was going to be even able to show up today. Uh, so it would have been especially funny if he'd managed to top eight uh, and then had to drop. <laughs> uh, but he did manage to make it. Oh, good. He might join us anyway. Well, I hope I hope to see Patrick in the chat. It's always good to see him razzing us. Uh, all right, and then uh, Patrick. Patrick, I watched a few of his games yesterday on uh, uh, during the prelims, and he is a surgeon. Uh, this gentleman is unruffled. Uh, he is was just a fantastic pilot. Did really well, uh, and I'm I'm really happy to showcase a Republic list. Um, there weren't a lot of them uh, on the board yesterday, uh, so it'd be nice to see uh, what these new ships are capable of. Oh, and there's Kayla handing out some of the top eight swag. Woo woo! Moving templates. Hello, Belinda Mood. I, I hope I'm saying that. It's Belinda Mood? Balinda Mood? <laughs> Gunboat Arc? What? What's that even mean? So I am, uh, man. I'm so stoked to see how this is going to play out. Um, there are two players from the island that made top cut. Uh, one is my good friend, Mike Messiah. Uh, the other is another good friend of mine, Graham, um, who both of them fought very, very well yesterday. Um, I'm hoping either one of them can, can make to the top. That would be good. Oh, did it? Did it monetize? I didn't. I didn't think it monetized. Yeah, I guess we're finally getting paid, Larry. Woo! <laughs> All right. So uh, Patrick just showing off his list, making sure that Sean understands how all of his moving parts work. Not those kind of parts, you sick bastards. Now, keep in mind, folks, again, I just want to reiterate, I am just an observer. I'm actually uh, somewhere between 15 and 20 feet away from the table, uh, so I can't often see what's happening. I may have to get up and go over there to confirm things. Um, I, I'm seeing what you're seeing. So uh, uh, if, you, if you see something wrong, say something, and we'll get Kaylin to go over there and straighten them out. Hey, no problem, Justin. Uh, happy to do it for you guys. I enjoy doing it, and I'm glad you guys enjoy watching it. Uh, at some point, when folks start getting eliminated uh, uh, into the second and third rounds here of the Top Cut, um, we'll actually have some additional commentators. Um, so keep your eyes out for that. We'll have some folks coming on. Still quite the crowd in here. We've got we got 40k. We've got Age of Sigmar, Kings of War, a uh, whole bunch of different games going on. It's really good to see all of these nerds coming together and uh, playing games together. Uh, thank you, Belinda. Uh, you know what? Uh, personally, I've been doing this for so long. All I ever see is what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> so it's nice to have somebody tell me I'm doing it right.
All right, we're coming up on the 10 o'clock start here, I think, soon. Just keeping my eyes peeled on the official time clock so I can get that going. Watch these two fine gentlemen beat the ever-living piss out of each other with tiny plastic spaceships. Oh, thanks, Maddie. Uh, no, you know what? I, I just love this game and I get excited about it. Um, if you're going to talk like a newscaster, find a newscast. <laughs> don't, don't come stream. Uh, and especially don't be on my stream because I'm going to call you out for being boring. Um, yeah, we uh, stream every Sunday as well uh, from Geek Tech HQ on Vancouver Island. Uh, so if you guys want to see us being enthusiastic and stupid as well in the future, um, come and check us out, YouTube and Twitch, every Sunday about 2 p.m. Pacific. And if you want to help us get out to other events and uh, live stream other stuff, uh, we're, we're hoping to get up to Attack X in uh, uh, September. Oh, Larry, you're enthusiastic. Come on. You just, you, 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 you're... You're just as enthusiastic as I am. <laughs> so now if, if you want to help us get out to other events, we're, like I said, we're looking to get up to Attack X in September, and uh, there's a couple of events in the summer we're looking to do. Uh, go help us out on Patreon. Go to patreon.com slash geekdeckindustries and uh, give us a hand. Uh, there's a couple of perks involved with that as well. So uh, you can submit lists for us to try out and fly. Um, you can... Uh, uh, you get some other perks there where every time we get a, a batch of alt arts, we'll send you one. Uh, currently, I have uh, Sad Kylo and uh, uh, Poe Dameron that's going to be going out come end of this month. Oh, oh, here we go. They're calling ready. And timers go. These two gentlemen, I use the term loosely. Uh, why isn't it refreshing here? Just a moment, guys. I just need to refresh the overlay here. Okay, that's a little weird. The overlay is not going. Bear with me. Geek technical difficulties. It's not a Geek Tech stream if we're not having difficulties. There we go. So uh, approximately a minute behind on the timer, but that's fine. Oh, thank for Oxwater and I appreciate that. I just love this game and I love the players in this game so much that I can't help but get excited about it. All right, so there he goes. Sean already getting underway. I'm just gonna add some numbers to the troopers and the bombers here so that we can differentiate which ones are taking which. There we go, some numbers up to keep things a little clearer on the overlay. Uh, next time I'm gonna try and have numbers next to the ships uh, like they do on VTTV and stuff. Um, I just didn't have an opportunity to uh, set up those graphics yet. You betcha, Larry, cheat early, cheat often. That is the Geek Tech way. If you are not cheating on turn zero, what the fuck are you even doing here? <laughs> A gas cloud, hang up. That's not a gas cloud. That's a smoke screen, trooper. <laughs> I'm glad you could join us, though. <laughs> totally. Space fart in the corner. That's why it takes your action. You're too busy going, oh, the stink. Oh, God. Oh, I got it in my mouth. <laughs> I 
Uh, I'm not sure what the cut distribution is. Uh, I know right now we're looking at Rebels, and let me just have a quick look at the tables here. So we got Rebels versus Rebels on one. Hmm, looks like some one, two, three Rebels out of eight. Two Republic, one First Order, one Imperial. Yeah, so a little bit of everything except Scum, because, you know, um, Scum is kind of in a bad place right now. So these two are actually in the middle of the cut, um, but everybody else that's been here so far has been on stream. I wanted to save Bun for a little later. I, I don't think he's going to get eliminated yet. So I'm a little sad, actually, because the uh, two folks that I came over with uh, from Vancouver Island, uh, two of them made the top cut, but now they're facing off against each other, and so two Islanders, uh, one of them is going to bounce the other out. Yeah, 8-bit, I feel the same. As a primarily scum player, uh, it makes me incredibly sad to see the state of scum. So Sean, a master of the slow roll. Uh, I've played against him a few times. He really likes having like five and six ships on the board. Um, the last time I played him was against the Z Swarm that he just, man, dude put on a clinic for me about how to bump and tear me apart. I learned a lot. Oh, there you go, a little bit of ge ge geek tech cheating. Adjust that heading a little bit by millimeter. Just want to give a shout out to Dan Miner, uh, organizer of the Wet Coast GT here, uh, and a stand-up gentleman. Uh, he has been a great help uh, making sure we've gotten what we need, uh, helping me make sure we got good internet so that we can stream this, uh, making sure I'm fed over the weekend, uh, buying me beers. It's just been a great time. Uh, I've just been so happy to be here. All right, so this first couple rounds, looks like we're probably gonna be at least three rounds of jockeying before we get into combat. We'll probably be down to about, uh, hey, District Foundry, glad you could join us. Yeah, I think we're gonna be at least one more round before we see shots. You know what, there were, I think there were four Republic lists all told yesterday. Two of them made top cut. Uh, one of them is a pair of arcs, uh, a Torrent and a Jedi. Um, the other list here is Patrick's, which is two Jedi, two Torrents, uh, Anakin and Mace. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little surprised that there weren't as many, um, or that there were so few uh, Republic lists. Uh, although right now, uh, like Rebel Beef is where it's at. If, if you're not flying Rebel Beef, you're probably gonna have uh, an uphill battle. Very true, Belinda Mood. Um, the Republic lists, when flown well, uh, are really good. Personally, I think the Torrent um, is a little overpriced. Uh, I'm not actually sure what the top 16 faction breakdown is. Um, well, in this case, we only have a top eight, because we only had 54. Uh, but let me see, we got one, two, three, four. So of the top eight, four are Rebels. Two are Republic, one is First Order, and the other is Imperial. So we actually had two Republic uh, top, which was interesting. Yeah, basically everything but Scum and CIS. Womp, womp. Uh, I think we only had like three CIS lists in, uh, yesterday, and they just, they did not fly well. Um, they tended to get torn apart by a bunch of other folks. Uh, District Foundry, I agree. The torrent, the torrent, as soon as the uh, Wave 5 stuff comes out, nobody's going to fly a freaking torrent anymore. They are overpriced. I, I would like to see in June, July, when the when things drop, uh, or when, sorry, when the new rule, um, point, pit, points cost drop, I would like to see those torrents come down in price a little bit. 
oh, that would be interesting. All clones would get dedicated for free. I'm not so sure about that. Uh, yeah, I agree. Oh man, that Y-Wing. Oh, that new Y-Wing is so gorgeous. You're right, that thing is dummy thick, man. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, the only other one I like is like the generics, which are good, uh, or uh, Tucker. Uh, um, the other ones, get the hell out of here. I don't, need, I don't want you or I don't need you. CLT, sorry, I'm not familiar with that acronym. Yeah, no, I agree. Uh, like I said, Tucker's the only one that I feel is good because he gets a focus after somebody attacks somebody in his arc. So eh, that's not bad. I usually end up spending his action on a target lock uh, so that I can have a full modded uh, missile shot afterwards. Oh, calibrated laser targeting. Yeah, man, who? I love calibrated laser targeting, but uh, the fact that it takes both your mod and your configuration slot uh, kind of hurts me in a lot of ways. I don't think it's too expensive. I think uh, CLT takes too many slots because uh, it's only 10 points. Uh, but it won't allow you to do things like CLT and then afterburners, which I think would, would go really, really nicely. It's nice to get that free boost to get your bullseye. A Republic grapevine? What is it? Was it just a bunch of torrents? Yeah, ten, ten persons, not bad. And yeah, you can, when you have something that people are unfamiliar with, it's it feels like easier uh, ways to win. Man, Patrick just refusing to engage that beef. Just making him come to him, uh, making them come to him. E oh yeah, I suppose R4P17 would really help. So I don't really have to worry about afterburners. If I got R4P17, I can spend that charge and boost. I guess that's about the same. I I'd like to have R4P17 and afterburners, but you know, I'm a uh, have your cake and eat it too kind of guy. Yeah, you did really well with that, Larry. I remember watching the, your fight, and uh, you did fantastically. You bumped when you needed to. You caused your opponent to make some mistakes. You didn't really make any errors, which that, that in itself is a win. Flying a list and not fucking up. I wish I could do that. <laughs> Nice, nice. Um, actually, one of my friends who made the top cut, he brought, uh, just in case he didn't make top cut, he brought a dual infiltrator, uh, so Dooku Maul uh, with Grievous. And I've played against it a couple times, and all three of those are the wrong choice to chase. If you chase Grievous, Maul and Dooku are gonna tear you apart. If you chase Dooku, Maul and Grievous are gonna tear you apart. It's just great. <laughs> yeah, quad phantoms don't like it. Uh, quad phantoms is still probably, people are like, oh, felt hand is a bad thing. No, the frickin' quad phantoms is way more oppressive than fat Han will ever be. Yeah, Darth Maul's really forgiving, especially when you slap hate on him. He's like, oh no, I got into a space where I'm gonna get shot at. I better use my force. Yeah, Sean just slow rolling. Jo they, these guys are just jockeying for position. It's gonna be the first like 20 minutes of the match where we're just flying and flying. Nobody shots.
Uh, yes, this is first round of the cut. So we still have, currently still have eight players. Uh, Bun is on another table. Um, flying against, flying his first order beef uh, against what looks to be a Republic double arc torrent Jedi list. I think that's Anakin in there. On uh, top cut table two, we actually have two rebel beef lists. Uh, one with Leia in the U-Wing and in some X-Wings, and one with Leia in the U-Wing with a Y-Wing and some B-Wings. So, personally, I think the B-Wing list is more powerful, is, is just gonna do more damage. The X-Wing list is better in the later game uh, when you need the better maneuverability, I think, but. <laughs> wow, Ruvu, tell us how you really feel. <laughs> uh, I don't think they are, I don't think. It looks like everybody's using stock dice right now, which uh, that's just fine. Um, personally, I don't bring out my uh, regional shiny dice anymore because I lost one of my evade uh, dice and now I'm paranoid about losing others. Nice. I like Luminara. I really like Luminara. She is pretty fun. Well, yeah, exactly. A lot of dice cams are set um, to chroma out a particular color, and sometimes these dice fall close to that color and they won't see them. So, like, my, my dice cam right now is calibrated for stock dice, and uh, sometimes some of the shiny or clear dice don't show up properly at all. I've got a set of dark third-party dice that I have. I don't bother using them at all because they just won't, they won't even show up. They're just these, like, black phantoms. Man, still no shots. Sean just steadily slow rolling up. Patrick refusing to engage. It looks like he's pushing Anakin back towards his corner. He's gonna, I got a feeling he's gonna split this up a little bit. Um, and force Sean to commit to either Anakin or Mace. Yeah, I agree, Mace is bait. Um, we'll see if he swallows that hook. Yeah, exactly. B both decisions are a bad decision. It's just a question of which bad decision are you willing to accept. Um, I personally uh, feel like Sean, if he can keep himself frosty uh, and keep himself from getting, you know, drawn in, uh, I think he, I think he can win it. Yeah, those torrents. If if he catches them at the wrong angle, they're just going to fold like paper. Yeah, they, well, they just, everything needs to survive a couple rounds, really. <laughs> uh, the torrents, uh, I like to call them the B95, because they got, uh, uh, you know, a little more hit points than a, a Z95 and a similar dial to the B-Wing, uh, but the 222 uh, is a problem. <laughs> two attack, two defense, not, not so good. <laughs> just for hugs, promise. There's no lightsaber in my hand that I'm gonna stab in your back. Oh shit, yes there is. Yeah, never, never trust Anakin or Mace to give you a hug.
Wow, still everybody just jockeying around. Oh, here we go. Oh, there you go. Typical, typical. Cheat early, cheat often. Natural drift, that's what it is. Sharks that hug with their teeth. See, sharks just don't have hands. They're just giving you tooth hugs. It's fine, they love you for dinner. That slow rolling them torrents up. I think there might actually be some shots. Uh, A-Wing and the torrent shooting at each other here. I think the A-Wing's got a better position. Looks like he's packing an evade on that A-Wing. Torrent's picking up focuses here. Oh yeah, things are gonna start getting real any minute. I got a feeling uh, he's gonna push Mace uh, past those uh, torrents towards the left side of the map a bit and try to get in on a flank. Yeah, see, he's moving that guy out of the way. Oh no, he's barrel rolling. Uh, ooh, maybe Mace isn't doing that. Oh, what the hell, Patrick. There you go. I was gonna say, that's not a barrel roll. He's just checking which position he wants. There we go. Yeah, and then uh, Link Evade. Okay, and now it's gonna be the rest of Sean's list because he's all low PS fly, uh, flyers here. And those turret gunner Y-wings. Oh boy, people, uh, things are turning in. It's gonna be like that scene from Boondock Saints. There was a firefight! Six guys with guns? What if it's one guy with six guns? Man, neither of these guys are committing on uh, to this. As a scum player, I am disgusted. You should be five straight into your opponent and shooting on the first or second round. Damn it. Get this shit going. <laughs> I, I am foolishly aggressive a lot of the time, though, which is uh, why I'm streaming and not in the top cut. Oh, B-Wing's got range on that torrent. Picking up a target lock from the look of it. Yep. <laughs> Drink the glue, yeah. <laughs> I prefer to eat the paste, but that's okay. I'll wash it down with some glue. <laughs> I like that, guys. Well, in that case, I drink the clue all the time. <laughs> yeah, I could probably be a top tier player, but I refuse to play anything but uh, scum at tournament. So, and and since they uh, whacked. Uh, Boba Fett with the nerf bat so hard. Actually, it wasn't even Boba Fett, it was just like Han. Oh, you're four? No, you're 12. You've gone up eight points, sucker. Mmm, yes, Boba Gurry. Although, I've been really inspired by uh, Phil GC's uh, um, <coughs> Gurry Fen and 23 point bid. Uh, that just seems like suicidal but he made it work, and now I'm all inspired. I'm gonna try and fly that at the next local tournament and just see how bad I do. Ooh, Anakin moving up. I'm not sure, but I think that A-Wing might have range on him. I don't 
think he, even if he does have range, I don't think he's going to be shooting at Anakin. That's just a foolish idea. Oh, good to know. Good to know. It's you got to be careful because with that much bid and only two like low hell ships. Oh, and he he stacked her. He stacked her like uh, I think it was afterburners and collision detector and oh, a whole whack load. Uh, I, a lot of people will do advanced sensors on Guri. I personally uh, really like, yeah, basically everything but torps. Uh, I personally really like collision detector on her because um, it lets you do that bendy barrel roll into debris and uh, oh, and bo you know boost your way out and stuff. So. Ooh, Patrick turning in. And looks like he's acquiring a target lock on, I'm gonna call that Gray Squadron One. Yes, advanced sensors to Orbson Guri is great. Because you take your target lock and then move to range. Ho! Oh! Anakin, hit, hit, crit. Already. And, ooh, only one evade. He's going to spend that focus into two and take one on Gray Squadron Bomber number one. Oh, wait, he's got, let's make that number two. There we go. Because he's, uh, He's got his bombers there along the bottom left corner. Ooh, Patrick, what the hell, bud? One evade. And that was the B-Wing, two. And then he's got a torrent here. Looks like range three obstructed on the B-Wing or a range three overall. He's going for the B-Wing. Just two dice. Oh man, not bad though. He's thinking about whether to spend it or not. Uh, that torrent is still sitting on a focus. Good morning, Jake, thanks for joining us. Yeah, Patrick's dice are hot right now. Okay, so one hit, he's not bothering to spend that yet. B-Wing's gonna roll three, because range three obstructed. And two, no problem. All right, now Sean gets to start shooting. So he's gonna measure, looks like he's measuring from the B-Wing first. He's gonna go for that closer torrent, range three. Uh, the other one is obstructed range three, which is why Patrick didn't bother spending. Oh no, that's not a torrent, that's mace, I'm sorry. We got Mace up there that he was first measuring at. Torrent is the other one that's obstructed. Um, neither one of those is a good shot, to tell the truth. Yeah, I'm pretty happy to see two Republic lists get in there. Oh, what's he using? Is this the jamming beam or the tractor? I think he's tractoring. He's gonna spend the focus for three. And four dice, so it looks like he was aiming at the torrent. And there's the tractor token on the torrent. And he's gonna boost it to get it a little closer for everybody else to shoot at. There we go. And one less agility, that's not good. That is, on a scale of good to bad, that's a very bad. So disrespectful. I love it. Okay, uh, so it uh, looks like Y-Wing 1 in the back there doesn't have it. Y-Wing 2. It's got a range 3. There it goes. Yeah, just a focus. Uh, the U-Wing, no shot. And the A-Wing has got now range 2 on that one torrent. One hit. And there we go. All 
All right, and then sweep and set. That, uh, that torrent is a little bit out of position. I'm not sure what Patrick's gonna do next. He might push the other one up to get up in there and maybe cause some blocks. But uh, he's in, hmm, he's in an interesting position. Oh, I think you're right. Hey, Kalen. Kalen. I think uh, Patrick may have rolled too many dice when he was trackered. I think uh, Patrick may have rolled too many dice when he was trackered just recently. Oh, never mind. It was range. Was that range two or range three? Was it range three? Okay, we couldn't see it, so. Okay. Yeah, it was range three, guys. Yeah, apparently the, the A-wing shot was range three as well. Uh, but, uh, I had Kalen go over and confirm with both. Was it rain? Okay, as long as you guys are good with it. Everything's been sorted out. I think they just redid that, so. Man, 45 minutes left and we're basically still jockeying. Uh, I'm really interested to see what's gonna go on, where uh, Sean is gonna push that A-wing into. Uh, actually, I, I, that was what the dice that just came up were about. They uh, re-rolled that after Kalen went and got them to sort it out. That was the two red dice and the one green dice that just dropped uh, a moment ago. This is going to be... Quite the slugfest when they actually get into it here. Uh, I'm really interested to see which way uh, Sean is going to commit. Because right now, Patrick kind of has the flank on either side. If they turn in after Anakin, uh, those Torrance and, and Mace come in. If he turns up after uh, Mace, uh, Anakin comes in and just ruins someone's day. I'm interested to see what he's gonna do with that torrent that was pulled out of position. Uh, thanks, Jake. Um, we did a, like, angle down from a tripod for years, and uh, I just didn't like it. Um, it. Gave, like, a weird keystone effect to the table and everything. Um, I've got a bit of a bunk lens on here, which is why there's a bit of a fisheye effect, but I really like the uh, top-down view a lot better. It just gives me a better overview of what's actually happening on the playing field. I agree, that was, that was my problem with uh, VTDB uh, uh, stream from Toronto, uh, the system open. Um, the angled uh, way they had things and the weird lighting, uh, I was just, I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. And 
admittedly, some of their commentators were, had no idea what they were talking about. <laughs> Yeah, I, mu I much prefer the top-down view because you don't have ships that hide behind each other and uh, block your view of like where they're putting their range rulers or what's happening there. This is actually the same setup we use on our uh, live stream weekly at home. So uh, if you like it, come and see us on Sundays on the regular and you'll, uh, you'll get a lot more of this bullshit. Yeah, we, we had some problems with that last year where it would leave a little ridge in the middle of the table and you'd have your wobbly ship. Uh, so all of the mats actually have a three by three cardboard underneath them to flatten them out uh, to keep that from happening this year. Because I, I remember flying last year and man, just that bump ruined me a couple times. Of course, really, in the end, I'm the one that ruined me because I flew terribly. I took a list that I really should not have. All right, I'm surprised he pushed that uh, torrent way harder in than I thought he was gonna. I think he's hoping to, to uh, get some blocks going on. Uh, I don't know if that torrent's in a good place, though. Uh, other torrent, pushing up, there we go. Yeah, so there's the block, he's keeping it back. Well, one can hope he can avoid that veteran turret gunner, but uh, VTG is gonna nail somebody this turn, I know it. Okay, B-Wing, where is he going? Man, king of the slow roll here. That's how you know he's playing Rebels. He's not doing anything fast. Taking the focus. Yeah, Mace has that target lock on him. And the Ewing, I think he's gonna bank it. Yeah, keep it up there. Uh, he's going for the Mace bait. I got a feeling Mace is, uh, I don't know if he's gonna K-turn or not. No, I don't, think, I don't think he'd be able to get far enough with the K-turn uh, to still get a shot. Oh, damn, I thought he got close enough, but he didn't. So that Y-Wing is gonna VTG that poor bastard. Oh no, they both are. No, that's true, that, that is the strat. Like, don't necessarily run the clock, but slow roll, slow roll, slow roll, slow roll. Forward one to victory. Yeah, you're right, the VT-19 shoots first, but I don't think he's gonna survive um, much past the next round. Yeah, he's gonna get ionized. Heh, <laughs> yeah, truck that Y-Wing. That's exactly the word I was thinking of. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I, I agree. Uh, Anakin's coming in hard, and uh, I think he's going to focus all his shots on that range one Y wing with the t with Anakin's target lock on it. And uh, Mace turned in, which is interesting. He's got range one on that Y wing, or sorry, on the A wing there. I don't think he's got a shot on the B wing, but he is going to get shot at. Yeah, I agree. Mace in a real bad spot there. And especially with the uh, Delta 7 title reducing his agility. I mean, admittedly, he's tougher now. He's, he's six hit points instead of four. But uh, those six hit points aren't going to matter when you have got like 12 dice rolling at you. 
Yeah, he had nowhere to go. He couldn't really boost out. He couldn't barrel roll the way he wanted. The only way he could barrel roll was closer to the B wing or the U wing. And that's a bad idea. Unless you're old Terok, you don't want to barrel roll closed. Ah, uh, may maybe. But again, that's not a great spot either. Because uh, then you're in front of the rock with potential veteran turret gunner ion in your face. Um, and you don't want that either. So, I mean, really, it was, a, it was a series of bad choices. And I think Patrick made the least bad choice. And he's going to, oh, oh, he's really focusing on that poor Y-Wing. He wants to get that gone. Wants to get that gone. Yeah, here comes Anakin. Here comes Annie with spinning is a good trick. See, spinning right there. Oh, and he's going to spend the charge to focus. Yeah, hopefully he's going to get the shots in and take care of that, uh, um, just take care of that Y-Wing. And ooh. Will, if he keeps rolling like that, four hits, holy Jesus. And the Y-Wing's like, I like it. Oh, yeah, that Y-Wing is going to be dead this turn. It's got three hit points left. All right, and then it looks like Mace. Range two obstructed. Ooh, he's gonna get a two, two whole dice from that. Uh, not gonna matter because he's gonna spend a force charge to turn that up into three more hits. Oh, two hits and a crit even. And a focus. He's gonna spend that uh, eyeball and turn that up. Yeah, Patrick's dice are hot as crazy right now. Oh, there's the crit. I'm gonna go double check what that was in just a moment here. Wait for that torrent to shoot. So he's, I'm 99% I'm certain he's going range one to, into the uh, critted Y-wing. Oh boy, that, that why wait. Yeah, right? Those are special dice that he cooked himself. <laughs> and uh, he had weapons failure, but it doesn't matter. Oh, although it did come down to two, so he is gonna get a chance to shoot back. So there's one. And yep. Okay, one more on the B-Wing. Okay, so that's all of Patrick's list shot. And now Sean gets a chance to reply. <laughs> all right, so B-Wing into Mace. Looks like that was range one. It's gonna be four whole dice coming up. Spend the focus for a hit, hit, crit into blank Zilla. Boom, 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 three shields down and that's half on Mace. Oh, that B-Wing. Yeah, tractor beam him a little closer. I don't think, I don't think he needs to tractor beam him at this point, he, he's already in a great spot. So hit crit from the Ion and Mace gets double evades. By spending all his force. Yeah, you, Mace wants anything but Ion. Okay, so, oh, the last one. That's right, two dice. Oh, one dice because weapons failure and then VTG, three dice, or two dice, two focuses. He's got nothing. The goggles, they do nothing. So range one from the other one. 
into focus hit crit. And Anakin is gonna blank on that. Oh, Annie. Annie, are you okay? Man, Sean just laying the beats. Yeah, and there's the ion. Come on, Annie. Oh, Natty's. He avoids the ion and just takes one more. So that is half on both Anakin and Mace. Um, Sean already pulling ahead. And that was the A-wing into Mace. And oh, balls. Mace blanks. Ooh, that was not good. That Mace got in a bad spot there and that was really hard for him to deal with. Now, admittedly, yes, it is still not a bad trade, uh, but he's lost half on Anakin and given up Mace, which is, that's like 100 points of his list. That's half his list already gone. And Sean has lost an, a um, uh, Y on, but that's it. He's still got four ships, and one of those still being another full health Y on. Right, clones, pick up the slack, bros. Yep. Yeah, hopefully his dice warm back up. Those, uh, those evade dice just completely betrayed them. And uh, personally, I think he needs to take them and uh, teach them a lesson uh, a la Patrick style. <laughs> Jake. <laughs> right? Those green dice were given Order 66. Kill the Jedi. Ooh. Patrick is, definitely has an uphill battle at this point. I mean, Anakin is, he's okay. He's, he's, still, he's still a threat. Um, he, because of his high agility, he's not gonna have trouble getting out of this fight. It's just a question of whether he's gonna be able to bring himself around to actually fight properly. And Sean turning in. It looks like uh, he's trying to use that A-wing to come back around. I guess he's trying to threaten whatever area Anakin's gonna head into. Oh, he's popping Leia. <laughs> oh, David, that'd be great flavor, but uh, I can feel the butt hurt from here. You're right, it's true. Uh, these two gentlemen are good sports though. And, uh, Patrick allowed Sean to retroactively trigger Leia. Oh, a little bit of Geek Tech cheating again. Let's change that facing by a millimeter just to ruin him. Man, I would love that. I think a resistance Leia should be able to be like, oh, your ship is destroyed, move to another ship only once. You know, like she's got a charge or whatever that you can spend to be like, nope, I'm over here with crew. I think that would be great, but they, uh, if they did do that, they'd have to limit it to uh, ships with an empty crew slot. Sean just stopping in space, spinning around. Uh, we're not gonna get into that, David. 
you and I are going to have very different opinions about that. There we go, Talon Roll from the B-Wing. Man, I love that Talon Roll one. I think it's so powerful. So he's templating Anakin out of the way so the Wyon can get past. It's K-turning. Man, I to told you, David, I'm not getting into that, bud. That's bait. I ain't biting. Ooh, Anakin. Oh, no. What have you done, Annie? Okay, good. He's using his charge to get out. And personally, if I were him, I would uh, spend that to focus. Or, yeah, just focus up. Oh, he's target? Ooh. Oh, because he gets to PS kill the B-Wing, maybe. Okay. Range two on the B-Wing. Oof, reroll. With the target lock into worse. Into a single hit. And he's got one force charge dev uh, there. Oh, he's gonna spend that force charge up for two. Come on, B. Is, is he gonna spend it? Is he gonna take it? He's just gonna take it. That shield's down on the B-wing. We still got those two torrents both gonna open up on him, it looks like. So we got uh, top torrent. Range one, three dice. Ooh, not hot. Hit crit, though. Oh, blank. Oh, I didn't realize there was already a hull dealt. And then the crit. Did anybody see what that crit was? There's one health left on that guy. Oh, that's a B wing down. Okay, guys, if we could not talk about TLG in the chat, that would be great. Right? Hey, what a great game this miniatures game is. Oh, he trackered Anakin back over her. On the rock, on the rock, is it? Oh, just short from the look of it, just short. But now he is in a bad spot. One less defense dice. And then, yep, focus up. One. Oof. And that is a dead Anakin. Holy smokes. That rebel beef just beefing its way into the, ooh, the win here almost. All right, clones. Your Jedi have been killed. It's time for you to finish this up. And one crit from the Ion. 
And that's uh, a single hit. Oh, fuel leak. Do, hey, Kalen, do ion cannons do crits? Can ion cannons do crit damage? Hey. Oh, no, no, it looks like they fixed it. Okay. Okay, so that was number one. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is the A-wing shooting now. I'm trying to determine whether it is obstructed. I would say judged on the little I could see there through his hair. Uh, oh, that's another two. Man, this is not going well for the uh, Republic here. Yeah, no, I agree. Cluster missiles are fantastic on those guys. Um, oh, but only on the generics. Don't Again, don't bother flying any of the named torrents. I don't think they're worthwhile. Yeah, he got diced hard. His defense dice were like, not today, bro. Uh, uh, like you guys said earlier, I think his defense dice uh, had been given Order 66. Kill the Jedi. And then Palp, uh, quote unquote, took care of the clones. Yeah, his red dice were hot. His, uh... oh yeah, yeah. At least he got, you know, that cool set of black dice, uh, the black translucent. Honestly, I kind of wish I got a set of that. They are some damn sexy looking dice. And A-wing sloop. I agree, when he turned Mace in, I was like, oh shit. Uh, personally, I would have pushed Mace, I would have done a straight and then a boost um, to then come in and flank the next turn. Yeah, he may, I think he made a critical mistake turning Anakin in uh, and turning Mace in too soon. He should have had uh, the two gold squadron troopers just sort of get in there and start tangling with them. Uh, and then have Mace and Anakin come in and, and lay the smack. Because now those two torrents are gonna go down like a sack of potatoes. Oof, man. Uh, almost, all right, almost. Those torrents just aren't doing it. Yeah, I'm not sure on that, hold on. be right back. All right, we got it sorted. I don't think it's really going to matter at this point. Get this caught up. Leia's in there. All right, so they got all that sorted out. They figured it out. 
Yeah, I agree, David. He could have used that force to barrel roll back out, but uh, he just thought, oh, I can tank this. And no, he could not. <laughs> oh, District Foundry. Nerd tears are the most delicious tears. Yeah, exactly. Like, if it if it had been um, the calibrated uh, laser target, we rolled too many dice on both. They're just restarting the initiative round two step. Okay. From scratch. Okay. There's, so they're redoing this entire initiative set. Because there were way too many dice rolled on all of those attacks. There you go, Patrick. That's a little better. Okay, hit crit. Thank God we got Kalen here to keep everybody honest. Okay, so now we're back down into the Y Wing. Right? Coming along with that judge and pimp stick smacking bitches. Torrent's gonna get one, take a crit. Oh, direct hit. Oh, that just makes me so sad. Oh, do not want. Okay, so range two obstruction. Oh my God. What the hell is that? <laughs> Holy shit, Sean. <laughs> Two takes one, no ion. And that's that, that. Looks like Patrick's calling it. Yep, that is a, he's sweeping up. Wow, that was, um, wow, not what I expected. I feel like Patrick uh, committed too soon. Um, that said, it might mean it was like 20 minutes into the match. Yeah, he made top cut, so good on him for that. Um, Sean, Sean's been obviously been flying this list a while. So, oh, Andrew, uh, one of the other tables here, Randy, Andrew Bunn uh, has defeated Jeff Frost, 228. So Andrew Bunn advances. All you uh, Andrew Bunn fans, I'm sure will be happy to hear that. We'll get a little chant of Bunn, 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 Bunn. Yeah, I agree. You don't, you don't joust with Jedi. Jedi don't joust, yo. All right, guys, um, we're going to take a short break. I'm going to put up the wait screen, and we'll probably be back in about 20 minutes, uh, 20, 25 minutes, with uh, the next round of the top cut. And uh, we'll see where it goes from here. All right. Uh, don't forget, everybody, like and subscribe. Leave some comments in the comment section down below. And uh, we'll see you in a bit. Uh, oh, um, Bun is flying uh, two ups and uh, Supernatural Kylo which uh, is actually super scary. And uh, depending on how things go, he might end up on stream next. So uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in just a little bit.